In last week's lesson, Anna and Marcia talked about shopping and making dinner. They use several compound nouns. It helps English learners to learn the stress or intonation of these nouns. Notice the stress pattern in the compound noun shopping list. Hi, Anna. Do you have the shopping list? We can write it like this to show the first sound is a little louder. Shopping list. Some food names are compound nouns or nouns that have two or more words. Let me see. You bought a bunch of bananas, a box of pancake mix, a bag of coffee. Anna, this is all wrong. What do you mean wrong? I bought a jar of peanut butter and a loaf of bread. No, wait. Two loaves of bread. Now you try it. Say these compound nouns and put more stress on the first part of the first word. Pancake mix. Peanut butter. In this lesson, Anna put some words together to talk about her dinner. You made breakfast. Yes, I call it let's eat breakfast for dinner dinner. In writing, we can use hyphens to connect the words that modify a noun. In this sentence, The two words that get extra stress are breakfast and the second dinner. We can write it like this. Yes, I call it let's eat breakfast for dinner, dinner. The stress pattern shows that these are the two most important words of the compound noun. Now you try it. Say this sentence with a compound noun. I used my credit card to buy everything on my shopping list. Then I got an ice cream cone.